Hi, my name is Melanie Gabriel. I am a freshman at Skyview High School, and if you haven't already heard about my story, I'm here today to tell you about it. Uh, before school had even started, I asked my school if we could put a 504 meeting together so we could talk about accommodations we could make so that I could go to school like a normal kid, but also be maskless. The reason why I need to be maskless is because I have severe anxiety and PTSD that are directly linked to mask wearing. Um, so we went over these accommodations and we had left the meeting all agreeing on the same thing. That I would stay away from everyone, I wouldn't sit at a table with anyone, I would have separate passing periods than everyone, I would arrive and leave school at different times than everyone, and that I would carry papers on me so that I didn't, I wasn't questioned for not wearing a mask. Um, so I go to the next day of school and there is my principal, my vice principal, and a bunch of security guards at the door and they won't let me into school. So I go back home and we come up with a plan for the next day. I go to school, I walk in the building, and I have a full day of school. But it's not a normal day of school since A, I'm following the set accommodations that we had talked about prior, and B, because I'm constantly being followed and harassed by um, staff telling them me that I need to put my mask on or, or I need to leave. So I go home and I wait for the next day of school. We come to the next day of school and I make it through my first period. And about halfway through my first period, I've got like five staff members telling me to leave the classroom and go with them into this separate room. So I go with them and I, I sit there for a good 30, 15 minutes um, before we go down to the main office. Um, and I, there's like five, six adults there who are just questioning me. So I, say, I ask them, can I call my mom please? And so I call my mom and I'm hysterically crying and she's like, what's wrong? What's going on? I'm like, they won't let me go to class. I don't know what to do. And so she tells me that I need to put myself together because we're going to go back to class. So she grabs me and we go back to class. Um, she tells me that she will be waiting outside um, on the bench right outside of the door for me for the next few days. Just in case anything like this happens again, she'll be out there. Um, so I go to school for the rest of that day up until like lunch and then I leave because just the harassment was, it was too much. It's, it's, you can't learn when you're constantly being yelled at and harassed like that. 